Casey is the uh, youngest son of the Dutton family, and he grew up on the ranch and has lived the cowboy life his whole life. John sees more of himself in Casey than any of the others. It's pretty obvious that he treats Casey like the chosen one. I just don't want you to get in trouble. He gets his girlfriend pregnant. His girlfriend happens to be Native American. That's sort of a tough issue for the family to deal with. I told him to take you to the clinic, and he wouldn't do it. Casey just has to choose to go his own way. To sort of provide for himself and his family, he goes off and joins the Navy and becomes a Navy SEAL. Dealing with PTSD, raising a young family with no money, the only thing he really knows how to do is train horses. Remember me? It's all right. He kind of doesn't know where he belongs anymore. But he's learning, you know, what these people that live on the reservation have to go through day to day. And it's nothing that he's ever been used to. I've been nothing but a friend to everybody here. If somebody wants me to leave, you can tell them to come make me. Casey knows that this sort of battle is coming, this sort of clash on both sides, and he's sort of caught in the middle. He loves his family, even though he has his issues with his father. But now he feels a need to protect his new family. And unfortunately, that causes some irreversible damage. just kill or be killed. And then the realization sets in. That's something like he's never going to be able to live down or get over. You can feel Casey's inner conflict. There is a tension with our life and the Dutton family. You can feel the pressure. I won't work for you. You know what, then? Just take the horse back. I don't want him. The horse is me saying I'm sorry. He's not here for his family and for his father. He went and served for his country. But when you come back, you come and you work this ranch just like everybody else. There's a brotherhood there and a love deep down below it all. But at the same time, too, there's some anger. Casey has made some decisions on his own a lot of times because of me. And I forced him into a couple of decisions that I'm having difficulty walking back from his immediate family is the only thing that makes him happy. His wife and his son are, are his world. And I think as much as he's trying to be a good dad and he's trying to raise him right and be a good example, he really doesn't know how to do that. But all he does have is love to give him, and I think he does that in the only way he knows how. Casey really isn't ready to take care of himself and his family. Once he sees his wife get hurt, and realize that the sort of medical attention she needs, he can't really provide. He's come to a place where he's like, I can't take care of my wife. I fear that I can't take care of my kid. He's out of gas, you know? Casey, because of what happened to him in war, and he's got like a killer instinct now. Casey's trouble. He's always gonna be trouble, and I think Jamie's clear on that. Loves his brother, but I think he knows he's always going to be scarred, literally. There's no fixing that. He thinks he's broken, and the only way to fix it would be to get away from everything and to go back to where that energy is useful. He's a warrior now, and he's trying so hard to sort of fit into this normal life, and, and he just doesn't know how. And I think he's thinking maybe that's the only thing I'm good for anymore. He's not out running around chasing anybody anymore. He's just, he's sitting with himself and dealing with, you know, some of these thoughts and some of these feelings and trying to figure out what his next step is. Cowboy stay in the bunkhouse. I don't need another cowboy, Casey. The only thing I got left is to make a future for my son. This is the only thing I got to give him. I know what you need. Hey, this is Wes Bentley. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Yellowstone.